In this video, we will look at how an anti-intercontinental ballistic missile such as the USA's ground-based mid-course defense system works. First, we will look at its major components and parts, then how it detects an enemy ICBM launch, how it is launched, down to what happens during its flight until it hits the target. The ground-based mid-course defense system or GMD is an anti-ballistic missile system for intercepting or blocking incoming nuclear warheads from the enemy. This system is only used to intercept long-range intercontinental ballistic missiles carrying nuclear warheads such as the North Korea's Hwasung-17. This GMD is different from theater ballistic missile defense systems such as land-based Patriot Advanced Capability, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, and sea-based and land-based Aegis systems. These systems are used to intercept incoming short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles of the enemy. This system is called mid-course because the GMD intercepts the enemy's ICBM in the middle of its flight or mid-course phase, after the boost phase, and before the terminal phase. We will look into this later. Now, it has various components such as Defense Space Program and Space-Based Infrared System Satellites, which are a group of satellites designed to detect hit signatures when any adversary in the world launches ballistic missile. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense Ships deployed to facilitate radar tracking of the enemy missile. Currently, the U.S. and Japanese warships are the only ones equipped with the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. Take note that these warships can fire anti-ballistic missiles such as SM-3 and SM-6 for short, medium, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles. It also has a land-based version called Aegis Azure. Upgraded early warning radars, which is a solid-state phased array radar, computer, and communication system used in long-range early warning and outer space surveillance. Long-range because it can reach outer space or 4,828 kilometers. It is located in various places such as Thule Air Base Greenland, Beale Air Force Base California, Clear Space Force Station Alaska, Cape Cod Space Force Station Massachusetts, and Royal Air Force Flying Dales United Kingdom. Sea-based X-band radar, a large self-propelled ship and mobile active electronically scan array early warning radar station. It gathers tracking, trajectory, and discrimination data. It is used to see and clarify the actual warheads of the enemy hidden in the decoy or threat cloud. It is also used to track warheads that have already been spotted. C2BMC, a command and control center that compiles or gathers all sensors and data gathered by the systems mentioned earlier. This center also transmits guidance data to the interceptor missile. In other words, everything that the sensors see goes and is seen by the C2BMC. And the last component is the ground-based interceptor missile, which is placed in a silo like this one. It is an anti-ballistic missile with a length of 16.61 meters and a mass of 21,600 kilograms. It consists of first stage, second stage, and third stage motors that all use solid fuels. This is the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle. It is a kinetic force weapon. That means it will only collide with the warhead to destroy it. It doesn't carry any explosives. Its major parts are electro-optical or infrared wideband sensor to detect and lock on target warheads, sensor sunshade, divert thrusters, and altitude control system for the EKV to fly and maneuver, oxidizer tank, fuel tank, helium bottle, and electronic parts that are important in operating the AKV. 
These are the interstages that connect the stages. And this is the shroud or cover of the AKV. Now, this is how GMD works. Let's assume that the intercontinental ballistic missile comes from North Korea. In this case, it is the Hwasong-17 with a range of 15,000 kilometers. It can reach the U.S. in 30 minutes. If you want to know how an ICBM works, watch our very detailed video about Minuteman 3, the USA's land-based ICBM. When the ICBM is launched, it will be immediately detected by the Defense Space Program and Space-Based Infrared System satellites. This detection info will immediately go to the Command and Control Center, C2BMC, where the trajectory or flight path of the ICBM will be known. Once it is known that the U.S. is the target, the ground-based mid-course defense system will be activated immediately. After being detected by the satellites, the sea-based or land-based Aegis ballistic missile defense system will track the detected ICBM. At this point, the enemy's ICBM is in the mid-course phase already. It will release the warheads it is carrying along with the release of decoys such as shafts. This shaft or threat cloud will cover the warheads. Now, the upgraded early warning radars will track the threat cloud. At the same time, as the ICBM releases its warheads, the ground-based interceptor will be launched from the silo. It will fly with its first stage motor, then it will change to the second stage, and change to the last third stage motor. Then, after the third stage is exhausted, the GBI will release the exo-atmospheric kill vehicle. While the ground-based interceptor is flying, the sea-based X-band radar is also tracking the threat cloud. This radar will also try to detect the warheads hidden in the threat clouds. The information obtained by this sea-based X-band radar will be transmitted to the kill vehicle. And this kill vehicle will also look at the threat cloud and try to identify which is the warhead and which is the threat cloud using its infrared sensor. After detecting the warhead with its sensor and with the help of the SBX radar, the AKV will lock onto the warhead and the kill vehicle will go towards the detected warhead to collide with it. Due to the speed of the AKV, it will destroy the warhead it hits. For each enemy ICBM launched, two to four ground-based interceptors are sent to ensure that the warhead can be intercepted even if there's only one. But because there are ICBMs that carry multiple warheads, such as the Wasong-17, it is important that when it's launched, it can be identified immediately to know how many warheads it carries so as to be able to launch the right number of interceptors. But this will be very expensive. So the U.S. also made something. It is called multiple kill vehicle. One type of this is the MKVL, which has a carrier bus with multiple small kill vehicles. In this type, only the carrier bus has sensors and guidance to guide the kill vehicles. In the second type, called MKVR, all the kill vehicles have their own sensors, but one of them stands as the playmaker that gives commands to the other kill vehicles. But it is not clear if these multiple kill vehicles are already operational. Take note that the ground-based mid-course defense system is not only located in the U.S. Its components are scattered in different parts of the world as well as in outer space so that enemy ICBM launch can be easily seen, tracked, and intercepted. Currently, the U.S. has 44 publicly known ground-based interceptors. Now, you know how to stop a nuclear missile. If you want to know how intercontinental ballistic missile works, then watch this video.